What's going on, YouTube nights? Welcome to another edition of Letters from the Long Box. This is your host, TiVo, and welcome to another edition where Mikey Sutton reads your fan, uh, fan, fan mail uh, from the Geek Osney and Lords of Long Box page on every video that we post on um, Thursdays. Uh, today is Thursday, July 9th. I know the dates and times are just a blur. Uh, so this week actually is kind of unique because... Uh, it's only questions from letters of the long box. So if you want your question answered, make sure you leave a comment after the, once the video posts and then Mikey Sutton from geek Ossie will read through it. And uh, if we use it, we'll post it next week and then you'll get a Marvel no prize. So you got that to look forward to. So let's read right to it. Boys and girls drink at home. If you're playing the boys and girls drinking game, no, uh, not don't put it. Don't think of it that way. It, there's, it's an ongoing thing in the live chat. You know what I'm talking about. Anywho. All right. So these are all from the Lords of the Longbox video that I posted last Thursday. This video will post every Thursday, and we'll keep on doing it until you guys stop asking questions. So there you go. Uh, the first one comes from our friend Alex Perez. Hey, Mikey and Tivo. We haven't heard anything on Keanu Reeves coming to the MCU in a while. Is he still being looked at for a role within the MCU? Mikey replies... It seems like wherever I turn, Keanu Reeves is being rumored for a different role, such as the bogus return of the John Constantine role. Kevin Feige is still open to having him in the MCU, but currently no active discussions that I know. I do believe there was an article that said at one point Keanu Reeves was literally up for anything, and that was from, I believe, Kevin Feige's own words. Um, we've heard lots of different things. At one point, uh, Warlock. Server Surfer, a bunch of other things. The man is busy and he's sought after. I'm pretty sure him and his team are waiting uh, to get the perfect role that they want uh, since he's his star is... I mean, he, it's kind of interesting the trajectory of you think about Keanu Reeves, excuse me. Um, he started as a young upstart, right? You know, Bill and Ted's. And then he had his whole thing with speed and then his career kind of went away a little bit he did some things then he kind of reinvented himself and then of course john wick absolutely uh blew him up to where he is now the guy's in his uh, pushing his mid-50s i believe it just goes once you go asian you'll be staying you know what i'm saying anyway all right uh because you didn't know keanu Reeves is like half hawaiian asian something like that man he's he's one of us hopper brothers that's why all right uh thanks for the question alex perez i hope i answered it for you uh, next question is from uh, DC Ash with a capital A-S. So maybe it's DC Ass. Shh. Hey, thanks for giving us the opportunity to ask questions. You're welcome. Love the content. Anyway, are there any future plans for the Runaways in the MCU? Great question. There haven't been any new plans for the Runaways, but they might change it as they retool their Hulu projects. And this could tie in. So you never know, man. Once kind of Feige took over all of Marvel and it's all in the Marvel Studios umbrella, now he can mold it into what he wants. And, he's, and it wasn't held back to what Kevin, Jeff Loeb was doing on ABC, uh, on what used to be ABC Freeform, and which is now Hulu. So uh, we're expecting big things out of Hulu. Next question comes from our good friend, Pops Foster. Hey, we just want to give a big shout out to Pops Foster. Hope you're hanging in there. You uh, had some stuff that he had to do with the hospital, but Godspeed and hope you get rail really soon, Pops. We're all pulling for you. Anyway, Pops Foster asks, I have one question. Why are you guys so awesome? Answer, because you are. Love you guys always. Love you too, Pops. And uh, Mikey Sutton's uh, response to you, Pops, is a tip of my hat to your own awesomeness pops and thank you very much and that's from mikey son uh pops is a great great uh asset to the community been in the comic book world for a long long time if you want some knowledge go ask pops he'll give it to you all right uh next question is coming from our friends from lawyers and long box at red lodge crow any rumors on x23 uh mikey's response is x23 was done so well in logan that feige will probably leave the character alone for a while from what i've been told so as with the last uh Logan film where Logan passed away and obviously there was a younger version of X-23 and obviously, you know, once they figured out all the timelines and de-age everybody and re-age them for the new MCU and plus Marvel Studios as a way and DC to a certain degree too, where if, if there's a stinker that they've done, they kind of wait a long time for, to reintroduce it. Uh, best example of that is Green Lantern, right? I mean, it was it stunk up so bad that they kind of pushed it away so far, so far until it's going to come out to 2021 or 2022 with the Green Lantern Corps. Uh, same thing with Marvel and how they kind of deal with their um, 
properties that they didn't have control of. I mean, obviously, the Fantastic Four was awful. Some of the X-Men films were awful. But they don't want to rush into it. They want to get the right projects. So, obviously, with the Fantastic Four, is in a big historical importance. So, the X-23, there's so many characters that Marvel has with Fox now. I think can wait off on, on X-23 for a while. So, it's a good time to go and buy, buy, buy X-23. All right. So, thank you very much, uh, Red Lodge Crow. Next question comes from Hawaiian Punch 72. Any chance we see Gore the God Butcher or Beta Ray Bill on the big screen or a uh, television show? I guess it means like a streaming series for Disney+. Plus. Uh, per Mikey's recent scoop, Beta Ray Bill is definitely coming to the MCU, maybe even in Thor, Love, and Thunder. Perhaps that's not definite yet. Uh, so nothing on Gore the God Butcher. Definitely Beta Ray Bill. That's already been teased in the MCU. It's a main character that's been around for a long time. I will tell you this. Marvel does has a tendency not to introduce newer characters. I'm and when I say newer characters, I mean within the last year or two. Um I try to think back. Like characters that were relatively new in the comic books that were introduced onto the MCU. I mean the really ghost it wasn't even that new of a character, really. I mean Ghost had been around for like man, an obscure character, but they had been around for a while. Obviously Ghost was the protagonist in the Ant Man 2 sequel. I'm still trying to think of any other newer characters and i'm pretty sure you guys will correct me in the live chat uh, in the comment section because that's what it's there for to correct my mistakes but i'm trying to think of a character from the last three or four years in, that was created in the comic books that they put into the mcu meaning the big screen not netflix or abc or any i mean kevin feige's films okay so I'm, i can't think right now off the top of my head but ghost is one that's similar that wasn't that wasn't created too long ago Great question, though. So, no to Gore, Gore to God Butcher, but yes on Beta Ray Bill. Next question is from Daniel Hernandez. Hey, Mikey, any update on if they plan on bringing in all of the other Lantern Corps into the HBO Max series? I will drop a scoop on Lords of Lombox in a few weeks, revealing some of the Green Lantern Corps they are developing for HBO Max. That's what you call a segue or a teaser or a hype. I don't know. Pretty soon, though, we're going to talk about that. We're going to have a long-term spec list that we've had, but we're going to have some more. Uh, last question is from Bean2099. Since Sinister is going to be showing up in the new X-Men films, will Apocalypse be figuring into their future plans? Or are they leaving him alone since Fox tackled that? I mean, I, I am in the minority of fans that actually enjoyed X-Men Apocalypse. I'm okay with it. Mikey responses, they are putting Apocalypse on the shelf for the time being from what he's been told. Uh, obviously, Apocalypse and what I just said earlier, how, you know, some of these other properties like X-Men and the Fantastic Four, some of the characters they recently brought into their little uh, cinematic universes, Feige's going to be like, you know, let that stinker go away for a while until I reintroduce him and blow everybody's mind. So, um, you know, so obviously Apocalypse was a major, major character in the uh, X-Men Apocalypse films, but Sinister was just teased, and they could still, I, so I could see Sinister coming, maybe Apocalypse coming later as a more of a bigger baddie, but they have to wait for a long time since they already had Thanos, and maybe push it back a little bit, and maybe just in the X-Men world, but there you go, boys and girls. Uh, leave, if you have a question for Mikey Sutton, and Geek, uh, leave a question in Geekosity, or leave it right here in the comments section, and then uh, if we go through it, and we choose to use it. We'll drop it next Thursday on the next episode of Letters from the Long Box. Until next time, boys and girls, keep digging in them long boxes. Peace out.